Lift your heads up, your redemption draweth near. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 107.20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. And sudden destruction is coming. And most of you have already seen these reports coming out. If Hezbollah joins the war, the IDF will completely destroy Damascus. It's all over the internet, family. Prophecy Watch. Israel warns they will destroy Damascus. And if you didn't know, this article just came out today. Israel carrying out artillery strikes in Syria. And I'm seeing and hearing a lot of people pumping fear. Well, guess what? Jesus Christ said, do not fear. So if anyone's pumping fear, you know it's coming from the devil. If anyone's pumping lies, you know it's coming from the father of lies. And I feel like Jesus Christ is saying, O oh, ye of little faith. The truth is, Jesus Christ never lies. And everyone that has his Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, should be super excited right now. Why? Because he's coming to get us. And I'll show you how close we are. Isaiah 17, 1, you know it. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city and shall be a ruinous heap. Isaiah 17, 14. Like Nisan 14, 17. Jesus Christ defeated death and wrecked the devil's plans to take you to hell. He had Isaiah right and behold, at evening tide, trouble. And before the morning, he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us, and the lot of them that rob us. And the reason I'm going over that is right here. Isaiah 18 is only seven verses long, family. And when you go to Isaiah 19, verse 1, it's the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. We're literally almost eight verses away from the rapture. From Jesus Christ coming on a cloud and melting Egypt. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Romans 16, 20. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. And the only one true living God, Jesus Christ, is the Lord, a man of war. The Lord is his name. The devil is weak to him. He ain't doing nothing unless Jesus Christ allows it. And you're a child of the one true king, Jesus Christ. And he'll never leave you or forsake you. The word says we are to endure as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So whatever we go through on the way out of here is irrelevant. Our bodies are already dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. The Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ destroyed death. We are eternal beings, family. We are seated in heavenly places with Him. And I just showed you, biblically, as soon as Damascus is destroyed, He's coming to get us. And you can only be revealed one time. Luke 17, 30, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. I go over this all the time, family. When Jesus Christ comes to get us, two people will be working in the field, one taken and the other left. He said it will be like the times of Noah, when people are eating and drinking and getting married. He said it will also be like the times of Lot when people are planting and building. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. In verse 30, he's saying it'll be just like that when he's revealed. A third of the stars will fall unto the earth. And if you believe John 3, 16, and you believe Romans 10, 9, then you have to believe Luke 17.30. And you have to believe Luke 17.27. Because when Jesus Christ is revealed and the rapture happens, people will be getting married. 
Don't be afraid of nothing except for Jesus Christ. He has the keys to heaven and hell. And if you have the Holy Spirit, you'll be caught up because the word never fails. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. When people are eating and drinking and buying and selling and planting and building and getting married and Jesus Christ never lies. It'll be just like that when he's revealed. And when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. He showed you child on 726 in the woman. He's been walking you through the signs leading up to Israel being attacked and them saying peace and safety and sudden destruction coming. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you looked up what salvation actually means? Deliverance from harm and from sin and its consequences by our faith in Jesus Christ. And when you truly believe in him, he gives you the free gift of eternal life and the Holy Spirit. And if you have the Holy Spirit, when he is revealed, you will be caught up to the throne, to God. And I've been feeding you Revelation 12 and walking you through it for months now. So I don't have to go over all of it, but I will point this out. And it's Revelation 12, 4. The stars will be casted to the earth. The devil is going to try to devour us before we're caught up. But he fails. He cannot stop the word. Jesus Christ, the child, will be caught up to God, to his throne. We're going home. And I've been telling you for months, as soon as that child comes out, he's coming immediately. Why? Because the dragon, the devil, will try to devour the child as soon as it's born. But Jesus Christ is not having it, family. The devil will fail. The dragon will fail. And we will be caught up. Let it sink in. Yes, the devil wants to devour us. Yes, he's trying to devour us. Yes, he is devising plans to devour us. But no matter what he does or tries, he will fail. The word never lies. He's Jesus Christ. He's the one true living God. This is just a fallen angel that couldn't even defeat Michael. And yes, Michael is powerful. He's an archangel. But he's not Jesus Christ. He's not God Almighty, the one true living God. Stopping the dragon, the devil is nothing to Jesus Christ, family. He had Michael do his light work. Biblically, he didn't have to do anything. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. So the point is, Jesus Christ, he's the Alpha and Omega. He's omnipotent, omnipresent. He's the one true living God, the God of war. The Lord is his name, Jesus Christ. The devil has no chance to devour us. It will not happen. We will be caught up to the throne, to God. And there's nothing he can do to stop it. And it will happen when people are getting married, like right now. But he's still going to try. He's still going to try to devour us right before we're caught up. But he fails. Now let me paint the picture. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every single name there is or ever was or ever will be. Jesus Christ. The name above all names. And it will stay that way until we have new names. And he has a new name. And I labeled this last video, Israel's Wheat Eclipse. And I never said that the eclipse path was going through Israel. What I'm saying here is that the star, the asteroid, Israel, is on the wheat, on Spica, on the eclipse, next to Storm, 
And as you can see at the top, it's the Crew Dragon 7X. And X in Roman numerals is 10. So I was talking to our sister Sonia yesterday, and I was telling her, what if they have weapons on that Dragon 7 crew? And they're literally going to try to attack Jesus when he comes. Because this crew, Dragon 7, is circling the woman every hour and a half. And immediately after I got off the phone with her, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, a sister named Crystal sent me this article from the NASA website. NASA rockets will fly into October eclipses shadow. And when you scroll down, it says the APEP team plans to launch three rockets in succession. One about 35 minutes before local peak eclipse, one during the peak eclipse, and one 35 minutes after. Three missiles. And it says each rocket will deploy four small scientific instruments that will measure changes in the electric and magnetic fields. But when you scroll back up one paragraph, this is extremely gigantinormous and you can see it's all the devil. And you already know NASA is ran by the devil. And normally you already know I don't even talk about false gods because they're false, they're fake. There's no such thing. But as you can see right here, Jesus Christ wanted me to tell you this. To this end, Barjatya, or however you pronounce his name, designed the APEP mission, choosing an acronym because it is also the name of the serpent deity from the ancient Egyptian mythology, the nemesis of the sun deity Ra. Lies, lies, and more lies. It was said that Apep pursued Ra and every so often nearly consumed him, resulting in an eclipse. Another lie. Jesus Christ makes the eclipses. These are Jesus Christ signs. There is no such thing as any other God. They're all fake. Mythology is fake. Astrology is fake. It's all lie from the devil. Well, here's the big capper. Nemesis of the sun deity, Ra. That means it's enemy. They named it the serpent deity that is the enemy of the sun, the false sun god, Ra. Ra's enemy. Well, guess who Ra's enemy is, family? It's right here in the article. The false god, the fake god, Ra. They say, they lie and say it's Enemy is APEP. It's all a lie. It's all over the internet. It's highlighted right here for you. Apophis, also known as APEP, is the great serpent, enemy of the fake sun god Ra. Apophis, and here's why that's so gigantinormous. Because the star Apophis is right there in the woman during the eclipse next to the Dragon 7 crew. While the child is coming out of the woman. And the child is right there. Right now. And I told you as soon as that child comes out. He's coming immediately. Well I showed you. On the 24th it goes past the feet. The 24th the 25th. But check this out. As you go through the days. You can see that the child starts coming out of the side of the woman's leg. By the 15th, the child is out, past the line. And when you go back to the 14th and you start going through the hours, you could see that it actually passes the line on the 14th during the eclipse. There's a reason why Jesus Christ said the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Because they are. And he's been giving us the heads up because we're watching. Revelation 3.3, 3, eat it. And I've searched for the word watch, and it's not there. But there's signs that mean watch, like IRAS, I showed you. It means be watchful. And there's Swassman Walkman, which means watchman. And when you go through the days, you can see the moon approaching and going through IRAS. Be watchful. And on Friday the 13th, you can see right there that the moon 
has passed IRAS. Be watchful. So I was talking to our brother Ronnie yesterday and he said, I wonder if watch is there. And I'm thinking, I've already looked for it, but I'll look for it again. So I type in W-A-T. And I look and there's a star asteroid called Watanabe. And I felt led to check where it was. So I clicked on it and it's right in the mix. As you can see right there. And I'll zoom in and I'll walk you through the hours so you could see the moon coming from the right. And as you go through the hours, you could see the moon passes Mer what they call Mercury right through what they call Watanabe. Well, here's what's so gigantinormous about that, family. It happens right when the 14th happens, right before the eclipse happens. You can see the moon right there next to Watanabe. And it's right there. You can see Watanabe means cross, pass over, cross over, to cross a river, to pass through or go over something. And I'm hoping that he's showing us this, telling us that we're about to pass over from this life to eternal life, from the earth to heaven. We're about to cross over, you know, the crossroads, like to the other side, like Moses passed over the Red Sea with the people. These are his signs, family. He's speaking through his signs to us. Everybody should be full of joy oil lamps overflowing with oil, being excited, celebrating, praising Jesus Christ that he's coming to get us. Because it's true, he is, and I'm feeling his Holy Spirit, family. He's coming to get us immediately. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I tried my best to guide us along, to steer the ship, to show you that he's coming to get us. I've done everything I could to scream from the rooftops that Jesus Christ is coming immediately. I'm being completely blown up with this Holy Spirit right now. Praise you, Father. And I love you, family. And anyone out there that's not family, jump on board. All you have to do is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Believe in Him. That He died for your sin. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead three days after you're saved. Call out to him right now if you're not saved. Receive the free gift of eternal life in the Holy Spirit. Our ticket out of here. These signs, praise you Father, that you've been showing us, led us right to the Israel war. I've ran the race. I've kept my faith. I tried to warn everyone as much as I possibly could with everything in me. I want you to know, family, I would never lie to you. I would never lead you astray. All these signs that he's showing us are his signs. He has been preparing you for takeoff. I told you, he said, write the vision in Habakkuk and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So I did. He told me, you've painted the picture. Now tell the story. So I did. He guided our sister to reach out to me to print these postcards for you to hand out. To make it plain upon tables. So everyone would see his signs. And the word says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Wow. Like... 2023, from the time of creation, when he made the covenant with Abraham when he was 75 years old, in the year 2023 since creation, now Israel is 75 years old, in the year 2023 on our calendar, the Antichrist is going to say that he's God. He's going to try to copy God and do his covenant in 2023, when Israel is 75, and he is going to try to devour the child as soon as it's born, but I told you, the word never lies. He's Jesus Christ. He's the truth. And we will be caught up 
before he can devour us, before he can kill us. Do not be afraid. The devil is a defeated foe. It is finished. And soon he will be finished. And I'll wrap it up with one more sign to encourage you. And it's blatantly clear. Remember I showed you right next to Iras, be watchful, and Lydia, our sister that was famous for her purple dye, is a comet called 321. Like, three, two, one, blast off. Well, this is beyond gigantinormous, and let it comfort you, and let you realize that we are about to fly, and be caught up. Because Strong's 321, Greek and Hebrew, is to lead up, to bring out, to sell away, take up. It's the same meaning as harpazo, to be caught up, take up, lead up. Three, two, one. And I showed you this, all glory to our Father. And all glory to our Father for what I'm about to show you. It's completely amazing. It's completely incredible. It's completely gigantinormous. Let's go. Jesus Christ, forever, for eternity. We are so blessed that he loves us and that he's coming to get us. And here it is. As you can see, it's right there above the sun. And you can see the moon at the top of the screen in what they call Leo the Lion. And the comet 321 starts moving down the woman more. And I'll walk you through the days real quick. I'll go to the 14th when the eclipse happens. And you can see it's right there in the mix next to what they call Mercury. Now when you go through the day's full speed ahead, watch what happens. Three, two, one, blast off, family. We're going home. Prepare to be caught up. Strengthen your hearts for the coming of the Lord. He is coming immediately.